Hello, it's Saturday, October 18th, and it's time for another weekly video walkthrough. This time there is not a practice at the middle school, there is a football game. Earlier we heard the national anthem, introduction of the team members, and now lots of cheering people saying, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Darren, this way. We have here our very own telephone pole and our dog. At some point, there will be a wire coming from that pole, I expect, over to ours, and then a trench going from probably where these two stakes are. Trench going off to the house leading in. Trench will come into the house in the basement. of the neighbor's house and the, pun and the well, looking back down the driveway, spanning across the adjacent parcel acre and a half that we're going to be getting. Most of the work that's been done in the last week is not as gloriously visible as putting the two floors up or the roof, but there has been an awful lot of interior carpentry work done. Some of it I'll call out others you wouldn't know unless you were to compare this video with the last one side by side, which I may end up doing. We're looking at the pictures I've been taking, going into the dining room. One of the new things since last week is we now have a set of steps and a landing going up from the basement, and we have a door. You get through the wall, and you can see there's a wall going, a, a doorway going into the mudroom, and then that lintel, big thick piece of wood up top. More work in the closet. Last week there were a whole lot of boxes in the bathroom that were shingles and vents for the roof, the soffit ridge, the ridge roof lines. Let's still look up and see there's now a platform that the workers were using to stand on. Going into the master bedroom. Looking out the window. Foliage is changing. View up into my office. See they've done some work there. There's now a hole where the drop down is going to be to get into the crawl space. More framing here in the closet area. Setting things up in the master bedroom closet. We spent some time today talking with the lighting people. We're probably going to be having a hanging light way up there over the jacuzzi, something on the wall over where the toilet will be, another view out the window. Once again, we will walk through 
through a wall. At some point I'm going to have to stop and actually go around the long way. now completed the box frame out or whatever it's called for the wood stove. So this is the corner where the masonry wood stove is going to be. We go up and up and up. run a pipe up, a flue pipe up, going into the kitchen area. Trish worked with the lighter and lighting design person that we are working with about how many pendant lights. There are going to be two hanging over by the window. Recessed lighting in the ceiling, six, three on each side, and then a set of pendant lights dangling over the middle where the island is going to be. I'm walking right now about where the island is going to be positioned and where we're looking into the mudroom and the garage. And now we get to see what the landing looks like from this side. This part of the video makes Dylan nervous because he's not is going to be. Let's see if he's going to come up the stairs or if he's going to go around the long way. Come on, Duran. Oh, and there's also stairs going down to the basement. Duran, over here. stairs. I've done some more work here. Good boy. My office area. Impatient looking dog. Here you can see access to the attic crawl space. It's going to be a drop down thingy with the ladder that slides down. Guest bedroom, full bath, not a half bath. Going to be a shower and a toilet in there someplace in the sink. Trisha's office. should be able to hear football noises. Not the worst thing to be hearing in the fall on a Saturday morning. Trish is a girly accessory, a closet. I've done some more woodworking along here, framing things out. 
This is her view out, looking out the driveway, in her very own crawl space. One of the favorite places for kids. Those supports going diagonally are not load-bearing. They may get knocked out in a couple of years if we need to have storage space after we refinish. Now there's something else that I remember from growing up that is very important for children whenever they go to their grandparents' house. Yes, sir. Off. You need to be able to run in a circle. So, starting in the great room, you will be able to run, run, run into the kitchen area, cut through the hallway. Now we're in the dining room. Avoid the dining room table. Run around the dining room table. Cut through the hallway. Zoom down the archway. And now we're back again. And now it's time to run away from the monster and run the other direction. Oh no, Grandpa's going to get you. Run, run, hurry, hurry, hurry. Ah, he came through the kitchen. He got you. It's the big scary monster. Or a dog. Basement stairs. Cut down here a little bit. There's been a little bit more work here. There's a new, now a wall here. And some thingies around the base where the pillars are. Not quite sure what they do. Over in this area is the hole where the well water and the electrical stuff comes in, I expect, except that's a ground grounding wire there. Stuff for the plumbing. This is roughed out plumbing for a dog wash and a sink. Another bathtub toilet in here. And we'll finish up with a view up back. Things that they cut off of the pillars. So I'll finish up with a view out the backyard, down towards the wetland swamp area. And eventually this will be all grass where the brown is. Thanks for watching.